Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about the first successful router. The first successful router is the core component available in the MuleSoft. We are using in the Mule APIs or the in the project as per the business requirement. So let's see the agendas of the today's session. In this session, we will cover the following points: introduction, configuration, then adding the routes in the first successful router, then in the last we will see the poc in this presentation we will try to learn how we can use the first successful router here you are seeing the simple first successful router i have drag and drop here and add the two routes here we will cover each and every point in the poc So let's start with the introduction. The first successful router iterates through a list of the configured processing routes until one of the routes execution successfully. If one of the route executes successfully, then router not move to the next configured route. If any processing route fails execution, the router execute the next configured route. If none of the configured routes execute successfully, then first successful router throws an error. This one is a simple image. Here you can see the first successful router with the multiple routes. So these routes, how we can add in the first successful router? So you can search the first successful router in the mule palette and you can drag and drop in the flow after that we need to create the multiple routes there so simply you can drag and drop any component or the processor and when you are seeing the vertical black line while the dragging here it means the routes are created in that way, we can add the multiple routes in the first successful. Now we will move towards the POC. This POC I have created already. The first I have added the listener. It exposes our API as a REST API. For the listener, I have added some configuration like the host port and the path. After that, I have added the loggers here. So this logger gives the simple message like start of the first successful flow and the end of first successful flow. This loggers gives the simple message and that helps to monitor and debug our the mule application. Logger we can add anywhere in the flow. From the logger, we can get the important information such as message payload and so on for the first successful you can search in the mule palette you will get the core component this core component you can drag and drop in the flow after that you can create the multiple routes here so i have created the, created the three routes and each routes i have added the loggers so in the first route i have added the logger and it gives a simple message like start of the route one and end of the route one in between that i have added one read connector it reads the file from the particular location in that location this file is present and the read connector is reading that file and after that i want to print that payload to the console so in this way functionality of root 1 is completed now we will see the functionality of the root 2 here also i have added the logger to print the simple message start of the root 2 and end of the root 2 in between that i have uses one select connector it connect our application to the database 
I have uses the MySQL DB. So that configuration I have done in the connector configuration. Simply you can click on the edit and create or edit the previous done the configuration. Here I have uses the MySQL connection. After that, the required library we need to put here. So I have drag from the my local machine this jdbc driver host port user password and the database we need to fill all the information here to connect our application to the db and i have added a simple query here select star from emp means emp is a table name and from that table i have retrieved or the fetching the data and that data i want in the json format so I have added the transform message and in here application slash JSON I have added as an output. So we can get the output in the JSON format. Now we will move to the third route. Here you can see the two lockers start of the route three and the end of the root three in between that i have added one transform message and this transform message is content of the simple message or the para we can say that and this payload i want to write in the particular file so i have added a path here and write mode is a create new So our application is debug mode. Our application is successfully reconnected. Now see how it is working. And let's see. Let's send the request first. Now I have sent the request and it is coming to the first logger and now it is execute the first route until the successful of the first route it is not moved to the second route. Let's see how it is working. The first route is successfully execution happen so it not move to the second route. If the first route is failed then it is moved to the second route. I will send the request again. So first root has given the message. The first root gives the execution is successful. So that's why it executes the whole root completely. It does not move to the second root. If I create any error here. In that case, it will move to the second route because it does not successfully complete the first route execution. Now you can see the our API is a successfully reconnect again, and I will send the request again. So in the first route, it execution gives the error. Now it is moved to the second route. Basically, it's find the execution successfully. If successful execution not happen in the first route, it ex it's moved to the second route. If second route also not execute successfully, then it move to the third route. In this way, the first successful working. Now the second route executes successfully. I will create the error in the second route also. Then let's see it's move to the third route or not.
now i will send the request again and let's see it is moved to the third root or not so in the first two root it give the error and now it's a third root it executed successfully in this way we have covered the use of the first successful router